welcome all welcome to my channel um uh yeah welcome to my channel uh please comment uh you know leave leave comments in the comment section of course i do read all my comments if it's questions related to this topic i will not be able to answer it to be quite honest with you um but you can leave some feedback or whatnot maybe um <laughs> I, I i i watch undisputed i you know shannon sharp did return back um and I'll just show you the, you know, I'll, I'll go to a YouTube clip basically based on today, basically, because it is, you know, sort of a highlight. And let's just see what uh, Skip Bayless did, basically. Uh, it's really surprising. Here we go. Hopefully, uh, Skip would take it down. But I didn't want it. Well, yep. Time out. Time out. I'm not going to take it down because okay. I stand by okay. what I tweeted. Skip, let me okay. finish. Let me, All right. Okay. Go ahead. No, you go. Go ahead. Let's go, Jen. Okay. I mean, I cannot even get through a monologue without you interrupting okay. me. Well, you could have came back, Skip. Well, I thought, Skip, just let me. I, I didn't I, know I, you were going to bring no, up. No, this. I was just going to say, Skip, I didn't want to yesterday to get into a situation where Demar Hamlin was the issue. We should have been talking about him and not get into okay. your not get into your uh, uh, your tweet. That's what I was going to do. But you can't even let me finish my opening monologue without you interrupting. Okay. I was under the impression you weren't going to bring this up because nobody here had a problem with no, that tweet. No. Clearly, the bosses wanted you to offer explanations. So clearly, somebody. No, they had a did not have. The, nobody. Let's go, Jen. Thoughts and prayers remain. Uh, as you see there, basically, I, I don't know if you've seen it, but as you saw clearly right there, uh, Bayless basically feels that his tweet was. Um, there was no issue with the tweet that he made, as I discussed in yesterday's video, uh, basically about uh, the game and such. Um, it seems like he, from this aspect, it seems like, yes, his perspective, it, you know, not from his perspective, but it seems based on this again from today now, not yesterday's tweet or the day before, uh, not, not yesterday and such, or his explanation tweet, but it's now this today, um, basically, uh, he feels that his tweet was not inappropriate, it was correct, and like he's thinking that no one had a problem with it, especially the bosses, when in reality... Yesterday on Undisputed, he even said himself on Undisputed that, you know, his producers and bosses did call him up. Hey, can you, re, you know, explain that tweet that you explain, you know, you tweeted out there. And now he's saying, oh, they had no problem with it. Clearly, he was thinking along the lines of basically from based on this and the fact that he was interrupting Channing Sharp, never bothered to apologize, etc. Basically, uh, I grant that I didn't watch the rest of Undisputed, but he basically has no remorse for that statement which clearly defines basically like he was not really thinking the lungs of um, hamlin i mean maybe he was but at the same time he was thinking more of the game and basically you know pushing out you know about the game the game should re resume and such um he's basically pulling a trump that's that's pretty much what it is i hate to say it, but he's pulling a trump uh, in this situation, and, if, and you know, honestly, this is a guy if he's not remorseful for that statement and like he feels that his statement was not incorrect. Forget the suspension. Yeah, like as everyone's saying, he should be fired. He sh this that should be his career-ending, you know, tweet because just like you know with Roseanne Barr with her you know uh, racist, bigoted uh, tweet, uh, you know, uh, that time, this one remark he made, which he's not remorseful for, um, he should be fired because he's not he's not sorry about that tweet. Uh, he's tra he's still trying to go with the fact of like you know it was misconstrued. It doesn't seem like it's misconstrued if you went and doubled down on the next day with their partner who happened to be a former NFL player. Uh, witnessed some of his fellow uh, players, uh, colleagues, uh, even brother, you know, getting injured and coming back from it and all that stuff. And like in this situation, he's it, it, it's it's like it's 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 dumbfounding. Um, I, I will probably see you probably see a lot more more prominent um stars probably coming and calling for Skip Bellis um to be fired uh honestly from definitely from the NFL for sure you know like NFL players but more so from maybe even like basketball players and maybe even baseball players for that matter too um this was clearly anything he says from this on point on is probably going to be disingenuous it sounds like I hate to say it uh this is a point where he should be fired I, I hate to say it but it uh, I mean this is maybe the man's livelihood. I understand that. But at the same time, usually the situation of this tweet, uh, you would be 
you would say you're you know apologize at least for that aspect you know and try to say like look i didn't mean in that aspect i meant it like this but in reality he's refusing to apologize that you know like he the way he was taken out of context he's just saying oh you guys are taken out of context versus like, look i'm sorry um the way you guys read it it was you know like take, taken in the wrong manner i meant to meant to say it as this he's not even going that route either he's not even going that route either so if that's okay he's it's 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 he's from the era of trump basically i, I hate to say it so in that situation, you you have no choice. I mean, if Fox Sports does not fire him, um, see, I mean, then you know full well where they're at at that point. Honestly, um, this is something I, I hate to, for those Skip Bayless fans. I'm sorry, but like you know, if you are familiar with them, I'm not as entirely. I mean, I'm only familiar with them to a certain perspective, certain aspect uh, from p- parts that I've seen. But I mean, this is a guy that I've seen in the past where. In some of the undisputed, as well as in some of the ESPN uh, shows that he was on, where he did basically say some inappropriate things, um, specifically towards women and you know towards minorities, uh, in an aspect where you know it was inappropriate, but it was like sort of clear and passing in a ways, and you know, it was one of those things where like it seems like you know he didn't mean to say it, it was just a heat of the moment or whatever it may be, but in this situation, I mean, clearly he's had two days. Uh, to come back and, you know, like do something about the tweet. He even refused to take down the tweet. So, which is even more surprising in and of itself. I mean, uh, if he's getting paid, you know, and yeah, I understand he's getting paid to like, you know, rob people up and, you know, like have the conversations. But this is a conversation about a man's life. I mean, you, there's nothing to talk about. I mean, I was a little angry to the point where like, you know, there was brought up the point of like, you know, the CBA aspect was brought up. Uh, and, you know, a, a lot of the talk shows. I mean, honestly, it's still a little bit too early to say that, to bring that up right now. I mean, you bring that up down the line. You don't bring it up right there at this moment in time. It's more of a case of, let's think about the man and his family. The man's 20, he's 24 years old. He had to be revived on the field. And then like, you know, and it had to be revived again at the hospital. Um, so, I mean, it's it's like a case of like the man's, you know, life is at stake right now. And his mother's right there. Uh, you know, let's have the respect and decency to just like, you know, like let's not discuss about other aspects of like, you know, the CBA aspect of like, Oh, the CBA is, or like, Hey, you know, like we should, we all think thoughts and prayers, etc. basically. I mean, this is something, okay. As far as relating to like, you know, if he's going to have, this is going to be life altering for, for him for sure. Whether if he plays the game from here on out, it's another different aspect as well too. And yeah, you discussion should be made about that. Cause like he's only in his second year. So he doesn't even qualify for the um, football pension type of thing, basically, or or, or the insurance aspect as well too. Um, but uh, I think that should be discussed a little bit later, uh, maybe a couple of more days later after, uh, to let, let him fully recover, and then let's discuss that more than anything else. To be quite honest, um, I mean, yeah, when do you bring it up? There are plenty of times to bring it up in any situation, but it's just never brought up. It only happened. These only occur when situations like this happen. Just like with you know gun 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 violence, as in relation to like you know um, um, gun control, it's never brought up until you see either mass shooting or specifically mass shootings with children. And I hope to God twenty twenty three is the one year that we have none of that. I you know I'm hoping. And a pleading that, you know, like, and praying that, that, you know, that does not happen. That 2023 is a a year where we don't see that or hear that at all. I, I, I don't know if I could deal with it again, to be honest with you. Um, but in any case, it's one of those things where, like, let's, you know, if you want to bring it up, then bring it up every day. Don't bring it up after a situation like this that occurred, basically. Um, I, and so, but anyways, going back, Skip Bayless. I mean, this is a case where, like, yeah, I mean, honestly... Uh, if this was something that he brought up that could bring up other things at the same time as well too, okay, diff- that's a different story maybe. But it's, it's not. It's more of like his tweet is now becoming – going to become the most focal point now down the line next to Hamlet unfortunately. Uh, and even Shannon Sharp – I don't want to say he was disgusted with Bayless, but you could see that – he was definitely angry, of course, that Bayless would not let him finish. And I understand Bayless is from Bayless's perspective in a way. It was like, hey, look, you're attacking me. Whoa, don't don't go there first off. And he had to interrupt. But in reality, he should have just let Shannon Sharp finish because out of pure respect. But he didn't want to. 
Um, uh, and it, it, it's I, and I get it. Again, you're if if you're getting attacked, your character is getting attacked. Of course, you're gonna interrupt. I was like, oh, let me stop you right there. Let's discuss this first, you know, and whatnot. Um, but I think Shannon, you know, uh, Shannon Sharp showed Bayless the respect he needed. Uh, and didn't even go bother, you know, like talking about after his tweet, basically. He was just basically, you know, bringing up and like he was just going to talk about the tweet a little bit, you know, but bringing up to the point of like just bringing up towards Hamlin. That's what it seemed like. But, you know, uh, Bayless wanted to stop. He's like, hey, look, this was not supposed to be brought up. It was supposed to be brought up because, you know, it's a talk show. How are you not going to bring it up? It's your own fault for it. Um, I, I I could see Bayless now like going to the producers and the you know creators of the show. Hey, either you doc get rid of Shannon or get rid of me. And like, if the show chooses Bayless to keep Bayless over Sharp, then you know that's a whole you know like see ya. Don't want to be at that point type of thing basically. Um, but again, um, you just saw what I saw basically. Bayless, honestly, I think I was all I was going for him to maybe he should retire, you know, or at least you know or at least be suspended. Not the case. This guy, based on he's doubling down at this situation. If he's doubling down, you fire him. Just forget it. Just fire him at this point. Um, please let me know what you think. If you think I'm wrong, right, whatever it may be, welcome to comment. I will try to answer your comments. You know, you make some responses to some of those comments as well too, if need be, when I get notified. But honestly, it's up to you guys. Um, and that's it. Um, subscribe if you want to subscribe. I'm not pushing for a subscription at this point. Um, it's up to you guys to subscribe to my channel and whatnot. Uh, yeah, I would like to get to at least 100,000 uh, well, with the 1 million because I want, I do want to see that, uh, you know, the uh, the golden play button. That would be really cool to have one of those things. I mean, yeah, you can make, basically make it yourself, but, you know, might as well get one for directly from Google directly. But anyways, uh, yeah, the golden play button and whatnot. Uh, of course, everyone wants to monetize, so, you know, like, it would be great. So if I, if I get followed, I'll try to follow you guys. If you have enough, you know, subscribers... I'll try to subscribe to you as well too, and like you know, try to watch some of your videos as well too to to get to the point where like you your channel could be monetized at that same time as well too. Um, but in any case, um, subscribe, don't subscribe. It's up to you. I'm not you know pushing it at that point. Um, also at the same time, like I said, comments. I do read comments. Welcome, for, welcome for your feedback uh, on this subject matter for that matter, and that'd be great. Uh, with that, um, I'm gonna say in this case. I was going to say unfiltered, unedited, but in this case, it was not unfiltered, but it was unedited. It's unedited and unrehearsed. Until next time.